And yes, to separate it in your mind, Wisconsin is wearing the red jerseys and the white helmets. Rutgers is wearing the white jerseys and the red helmets. As this one will wind up out the back of the end zone. And the Wisconsin offense will take the field and we get our first look at Tanner Mordecai, quarterback for Wisconsin. Oh. Want to kind of throw on first down, and that one dropped. Avoided disaster there on the first play, almost with a dropped interception. See the guys we have our eye on when Wisconsin has the football. Braylon Allen and Chimray DK. And the first pass complete to Will Pauling, the slot receiver, knocked out of bounds. Getting him in space, allowing them the opportunity to catch and run. Third and one, it'll be the first carry of the day for Braylon Allen. Good enough for a first down. Well, the question today is how many carries will a guy like Braylon Allen get? His normal running mate is out as this is incomplete. But a small of that will go on Tanner. Second and ten. Out across the 50. New offensive system, new offensive coordinator. This is not your typical Wisconsin offense as the pass is complete to Will Paul. Still rely heavily on running the football. Second and two, time for Mordecai. Nobody open, he'll step up, he'll run. He's got the first down, he'll slide down. First and 10 from the Rutgers 36. Mordecai to throw. Looking towards the end zone, has a window! Incomplete. Got a lot of touchdowns in his career prior to coming here to Wisconsin. He's over from Oklahoma State as Mordecai's got to get rid of it. Took a shot and that one falls incomplete. On second down, Mordecai tries to scramble away, looking for a receiver near the sidelines. It was DK over there, but he's out of bounds. Play clock winding down, they get the playoff. Third and ten, pass is incomplete. Seven for seven this season, this will be from 39. And this is no problem for Nathaniel Pecos. Had a career-long 88-yard kickoff return last week. Couldn't take it into the house. Taken out of the seven-yard line. This time he makes the catch. An interesting rotation at quarterback last year. Was injured and missed some time. But July 26th is when everybody else knew that Captain Wimsett would be the starting quarterback. And the guy had 19 carries last week for 87 yards. Again, an FCS opponent. We get flags here. And it's a little flinch there by the offensive line. This will back them up to second and 14 and all the way back to their own 21. Wimson steps up in the pocket, trying to take off. Gets back almost to the original line of scrimmage. Jake Cheney, the linebacker, stepped up on him. On third and 11, has to get rid of it and does. The pass is complete. Flynn Appleby. Australian punter boots it away. DK in a crowd, able to make the fair catch. They'll mark him at the 32-yard line. You know, as somebody that was born and raised in Cincinnati, the family was very disappointed when they lost Coach Fickle. Four-yard carry for Braylon Allen on first down. I think you got to like what you see so far through their first four games. Braylon Allen again, that time, was able to break the initial tackle. DK. Motions to the near side of the screen. Mordecai with a bullet. DK had it knocked out of his hands. Well, the temperatures dipped down into the upper 30s overnight here in Wisconsin's capital. Now in the upper 40s. Won't get much warmer than this. And it looks like we will have a nice sunny day. As it's dry out there now after some rain yesterday as a fair catch made. Three reps. And then the running back, uh, Braylon Allen, took the 35 and he showed us for a couple reps. And these guys believe that tough, nasty and discipline is how they're going to make this team better. And that's one way they get it done in the weight room. Coming out here and playing football on Saturdays is going to be easy for him. Might work out a little bit more if that's what was waiting for me at the gym. <laughs> Second and eight, Wimson. The throw, he's got an open tight end in Johnny Langan. And he's out now near midfield. A flashback a couple of weeks ago at the big house against Michigan. Rutgers jumping out to that 7-0 lead as Wimsett able to keep it himself and take it. He's got Manungai in the backfield to his left. And it is Manungai who is swallowed up immediately. First one there, Kamoi Latu. Wimsett with time. 
Over the middle, incomplete. Former professional Aussie rules footballer. And this an end over end punt. And the fair catch by DK made at the 10. Embodied through his team here through four games. Rutgers looking for so Wisconsin looking for their 400th win. We talked about tradition at Wisconsin, and there's no greater tradition than offensive line play and running backs this year. Look out, just got rid of the football that's dropped. Aiden Rucci. And they weren't able to hold on. Fifth straight incomplete pass for Mordecai here on third and long. Over the middle, that pass is hauled incomplete by Bryson Green. We're able to draw the defensive pass interference call. They just run a great clear out concept, and Bryson Green runs it. Incredible in cut there. Braylon Allen on second and four, trying to push the pile. He's going to come up short of the line. Oh. Allen didn't get there. Great job in penetration by Desmond Igbinison. I mean, as soon as Allen got the ball, Igbinison was there to settle for a punt. It's a low one, but a friendly Wisconsin bounce and roll. This Rutgers defense ranks top 25 nationally in several key categories. This is the offense on the field now for Wimsett. The Scarlet Knights looking long down the sidelines, and Jaquay Jackson got turned around. First appearance for the true freshman, Jay Sean Benjamin, in the backfield. Handoff is to Benjamin. Wimson lofting it. Incomplete. Kyle Manungai running the football. They have to hit some of these plays down the field. This one booted away. It'll be fair caught at 50. Madden player Kyle Rudolph. Excellent Madden <laughs> player. You gotta love it. They're gonna throw long. And it is incomplete. Jackson Aker now in the backfield. Braylon Allen arrests as Aker gets the carry, and he had a nice path to run through. Picked up eight on the play. But don't forget, he started nine games last year as a fullback, a position they no longer use here at Wisconsin. That's good enough for a first down. But in the transition, the position goes away. Jackson Aker finds a way, gets into the running back room, finds a way to get back on the field. Coach Fickle talked about it in his press conference this week. The Intention to get Jackson Aker more reps during fall camp. I think you got to give credit to the defense. They, they've made it really difficult on both of these offenses so far. For from Mordecai, Tyree Powell stopped him after a four-yard game. But when you can do stuff like that, running the quarterback on first and ten, you're going to get efficient runs. Just two carries so far as he's taken a shot downfield, and that one incomplete. Third and six now. Brandon Allen, Jackson, Aker both in the backfield, but Mordecai under pressure, trying to get away, has to throw it away. So with a long field goal attempt, it is no good. Starting from their own 35. And that pass incomplete. Accuracy has been a big thing this season for the junior quarterback for Rutgers. This time, a nice, easy throw out to the flat for Jayshon Benjamin. Third and four. Wimson keeps it. Stumbles forward. Looks like he's a little shy. Hunter Wool always stays square to the line of scrimmage. Uh, they use the saying that square is strong, and you can certainly see that out of Hunter World. Glenn Appleby gets it away. And it is bouncing behind the Rutgers coverage team. They will down it just inside the Wisconsin 20 yard line. Moving him off his spot. They've done it with some pressures from the secondary and also some, some rush from the defensive line as well. Setting up the opportunity for second and short. Fourth different receiver to make a catch today is the handoff to Braylon Allen. Let's just give the ball to my big back here. 
get a first down, get a new set of downs. You know, sometimes play callers may take a shot there, but you love just moving the sticks and getting a fresh set of downs. Interesting snap, but they were able to get the ball down into the hands of Jackson Eight. A little more burst here through his two carries. There he is again. This time he will get the first down. A guy who was he was not five yards and a first down on his last carry. They're going to keep feeding him. And he's going to keep taking it. He's across midfield. Through Jackson Aker in the run game. Rutgers jumped in Wisconsin move first is the question. Everybody pointing fingers. Maybe clapping as the quarterback gives a clap for the cadence, trying to simulate that snap count. Pass complete over the middle. Will Pauling. 16 yards. And Wisconsin's on the move. And they're going to hurry up and get back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, great play action fake there. Delivering a strike to Will Pauling. And then here we go right back with tempo. Check down this time to Jackson Aker. Second and four. Aker finds a hole. Jackson Aker to the 10 before he's dragged down. Over time, they're eventually going to wear down this Rockers front. I think we're starting to see that here on this drive. They put Braylon Allen back into the game, but he may have just coughed up the football. Aaron Lewis was the one who knocked it out of the hands of Braylon Allen. Max Melton came up with the recovery. Braylon Allen, who had kind of limped off the field in the early part of that drive, replaced by Jackson Aker, who got him all the way down the field. Braylon Allen comes back in, and he's the one who fumbles at the five-yard line. Let's see if he gets to it here soon. Nunga. Nowhere to go. Drop for a loss. Backed up inside the five to start the drive. It's third down. Wimson from his own end zone. Down the sideline. Incomplete out of bounds. Well, Appleby out to punt for the fifth time today. He's going to have to boot this one from the back of his own end zone. Short punt, fair catch at the 39, maybe the 38 yard line. Fielding came back out and had both ankles retaped, and as he went back out on the field, Fickle gave him a fist bump and see what happens. Catch pass complete. Right, thank you so much, Will Pauling, with the catch on first down. But the fact that five drives offensively for Rutgers, four, three, and out for this defense, been on the field a whole lot. Mordecai swallowed up. The third and five. Important play here. Mordecai, low throw, sliding catch by Will Pauling. First down, Mordecai on the play action towards the end zone, incomplete. Fortunately, they weren't, weren't able to connect. Three receivers on the bottom of the screen. Mordecai on the keeper and a huge hole. Mordecai slides down at the 16-yard line. Sliding at the end of the play, something that the Wisconsin coaches love to see. Mordecai had to go up and get the snap. Braylon Allen able to break it through and into the end zone for a touchdown. For two long drives in a row, and there's Braylon Allen finishing it off. The extra point is good. Rutgers defense has been holding up for so long here in this first half. But Wisconsin finally able to break through as this one kicked out of the back of the end zone. And I think that's probably what Coach Ciano was telling him on the sidelines. Just, you know, we got to do our job. I know you're trying to make a play, but just do your job, do your responsibility, execute your assignments. it off this time. Nowhere to go. Uh, Hunter Waller on the stop. They were able to push him. Even in their 52-3 win last week over FCS Wagner, they were 4 for 10 on third down. The handoff here. Manungai gets it. Just 30 rushing yards so far on the day for Rutgers. This time, Wimsick connects to Quay Jackson. An important receiver for him. Seventh in the Big Ten. More than 17 yards per catch on average so far this season. As that one was dropped. 
Simpson to the sideline looking for Jackson. He adjusted. Wimsett to throw again. This time he steps up and he's got room. Wimsett cuts it back down inside the five. And he wins it on a scramble. I love the way that Gavin is processing the information. He's, he's trying to find his targets and ultimately pulls it down and uses his legs for an explosive run. Wimsett has time. And that one is intercepted. Ricardo Holman, and there he goes. Holman across the 40. Wimsett trying to catch him. 95 yard pick six, Wisconsin. Ricardo Holman makes the play. The extra point is good. And you throw a pick six. Just the second interception thrown this season by Gavin Wynn. Again, you know, we talked about Ricardo Holman and his two big interceptions the last time they played. He does an unbelievable job recognizing the concept, and that's not who Gavin Wim said is, is reading on that play. And get back with the team and see if they can get things turned around here on the road. Yeah, thank you so much, Lewis. Has to be discouraging the way that first half ended. Now down 17. Kyle Lowe. Wimsett was 5 for 12 for 78 yards in the first half as he hands it off. To and keep this game within striking distance. Wimsett over the middle, complete. Down the wide receiver, Isaiah Washington out across the 40 for a first down. You know, the opening drive of the game, just see how he feels coming out of halftime here, because this drive is so important. But here they are coming out of the second half with a chance to cut into this lead. Another throw towards the sideline, another completed pass for Jaquay Jaqu Jackson. They've just crossed into Wisconsin territory. And Wimson. Lofts it downfield, jump ball for Washington, it's incomplete. To throw again, and that one off target. Evan Wimsett, the quarterbacks, made a couple of good throws here already in the second half. To pass here. Steps up and fires incomplete. And a bad snap, but he's able to scoop it up off the turf and get a foot into it. This one will be caught at the 11. They hold the ball last seven and a half minutes, and you get outscored seven nothing in those seven and a half minutes. Here is a chance to break it free. Knocked out of bounds. Braylon Allen taken out by Loyal. You know, with a with a 17 point lead, I think we're going to see a heavy dose of Braylon Allen here in the second half. Aaron Lewis is going to be a big part of the defense. Two yard loss on that tackle for Aaron Lewis, and then Mordecai down. Officially lost nine on that sack. It's a long throw, nowhere near the first down marker. And yet here's here's the Rutgers defense coming out after giving up an explosive play there on first down. They force him to a three and out. This one will bounce around the 30-yard line. Quite a few big runs. See if Rutgers can get down the field again. That pass is complete. Nice job by Aaron Young out of the backfield. A gain of four on first down, getting the ball to his back out of the backfield. Wimsett keeps it, rolls out, flag down. Wimsett will run out of bounds. I'd love to see him take off maybe just a little sooner. There's just so much air there once these guys get down the field in their routes. Wimsett just overthrows. Third and extra long situation that's, that's not ideal. He's on the move, and he'll just throw it out of bounds. With three sacks through the first four games, and he puts the pressure there on Gavin Wimsett to force another punt. Sacks in three straight games. Appleby just got rid of it. A little contact there as well. And that punt was fielded and advanced right at midfield. Another big challenge for this Rutgers defense. Jackson Aker in the game on first down gets five. 
And crosses into Rutgers territory. But I mean, you think about this Rutgers defense. And yeah, the competition has necessarily always been great this year. They beat up on an FCS school last week, but they've got wins over Northwestern and Temple and Virginia Tech. And they rank, I mean, ninth in the FBS, second of the Big Ten in red zone defense. Tied for 12 nationally in points allowed per game. I mean, this is a solid defense that Rutgers has put together to start this season. It is, and, you know, talking to Coach Fickle yesterday, this Wisconsin team wants to run the football, and they knew that would not be easy coming in against a defense that's only given up 98 yards a game so far on the ground this year. Keep handing it to Aker, and that time he lunges close to a first down, but he's going to be short. Just gets a yard. Needed two. So we have a fourth and one here, and I, I keep referencing that game two weeks ago at Michigan. These were the third and fourth down conversions that Rutgers couldn't make on offense, but also couldn't stop Michigan on defense. Huge opportunity here for the Rutgers defense to not only flip the field, but give their offense pretty good field position if they can get a stop. Aker into the pile. It's going to be close. It'll depend on the spot. Rutgers thinks they have stopped them. It's going to be close. I think the official on the top, if he had the spot, he might be short, but we'll see. Rutgers seems this to think that they stopped them short. Just remember when we're talking about that defense, seven of those points are hung up on the offense. 95 yard pick six thrown at the end of the first half. Wimson has plenty of time out into the flat. Trying to make a man miss. And Jayshon Benjamin, the freshman, doing a good job. Another good job there. Gavin Wimson has his eyes downfield. Able to work his way all the way down to the back in the flat. And Jason Benjamin gives him you know, a positive play on first down. And efficiency is over four yards. You can get plays, whether it's in the runner pass on first down, to get you to second and six or less. And that keeps you on track. And that's exactly what this Rutgers offense has to do to move the ball. Design quarterback run for Wimson trying to turn the corner. Got knocked down out of bounds but he did get that first down before he did. Yeah, he gets a, a great block on the edge by Kyle Monagai, and it's, I, I keep bringing up Gavin Wimsett's legs and his ability to make things happen, and this is just a straight quarterback run using Kyle Monagai on the edge to set the edge, give him room. Now we got first and 10 here across midfield. Shot delivered by Austin Brown there at the end of the run on Wimsett. This time he comes to the near sideline complete. And it's Menunga. Cuts back. Treated by Hunter Wohler. A good run for Kyle Menunga. Bring up third down and short. Excellent patience there by Kyle Menunga. Given his blockers the opportunity to get on there, guys. Find a crease in the defense, get downhill, and set your offense up third and short. Trips to the bottom of the screen. Aaron Young in the backfield. That's Wimson. Again, it'll be close. It looks like they're marking him just shy. Huge fourth and one here. Loud here at Camp Randall, Wimson. Looking to turn the corner, does first down, Rutgers. Wimson got popped, though, at the end of the play, and he hasn't gotten back up. And the flag then comes in. It looked like as he was going down, right along that sideline, he took a blow and immediately crumpled. Trainers and Greg Schiano right there. You hate to see that. Obviously, there was a good period of time there where Gavin Wimsett was down on the First field and 
Tar Hitting. ultimately gets up. Defense, number 24. After review, there is no foul for targeting. Number 24 may remain in the game. First down, Rutgers. Is now into the football game, the junior from Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. Simon to throw, and it is complete to Isaiah Washington. And he's chased out of bounds near the 15-yard line by Alexander Smith. Well, welcome to the ball game, Evan Simon. I'll say, and Evan Simon's a guy that played in nine games last year, starting two games. Had 777 pass yards and, and threw four touchdowns. So he, he's played some football. May not have played a whole lot of football yet this year, but he's a guy that's played football in the past, and he comes right off the bench and delivers a strike for a huge first down. Last year, they had Noah Vidral and Evan Simon, along with Gavin Wimsett. All three of them got starts last year. And so Evan Simon hands this one off. Maybe a yard or two for him and guy on the play. He'll actually say he lunged forward, give him four yards on first down. And here they are approaching the 10 yard line in a game where you're down 17 to nothing. You just lost your starting quarterback, presumably for the rest of the game. You, you have to get a touchdown here. You, you got to get seven points. Cut this to a 10 point game. Take some of the pressure off your backup quarterback so you can continue to lean on Kyle Manunga in the run game. Simon on play action. Out of the back of the end zone. Sean Bowman, the tight end, was in the vicinity, but that one was uncatchable. Bring up third and six. Yeah, they, they try to run the hard hard run action to Kyle Manungai and sneak the tight end, Sean Bowman, out on a little keeper play, and Wisconsin wasn't fooled again. Seems like every time Rutgers offense has tried something like that, this Wisconsin defense has remained very disciplined with their keys. Another crucial third down for Rutgers offense. Simon gets rid of it. Complete to the end zone. Touchdown. Jay Patel, low snap, low kick, no good. Drilled it off the left upright. The last week in their game over FCS Wagner, and obviously up 52 to three for the final score. This is a short one. And caught at the 29 yard line, but they brought in Gabe Wimsett a break, and they brought in a Johnny Shepard, the true freshman, to get his first collegiate snaps. So Evan Simon really hasn't played a game all year, and now he's your guy here headed towards the fourth quarter. Yeah, and we talked about it when he came into the game that it's a guy that has played football. You know, Evan Simon played a lot of football last year, and you know, I, I mentioned that this ball was designed to go to Aaron Young the whole way. He lines up on the left side of the formation, works his way completely across through the line of scrimmage out into the right flat and that's just so much traffic for the linebacker to have to run through in order to stay with him. Mordecai to Will Pauling over the middle. Eric Rogers was there to greet him. It's Evan Simon on the phone on the Rutgers sideline. Hasn't even broken a sweat yet. He's in a very important situation right now. That's if his Rutgers defense can continue to do what they've done for most of this game against Tanner Mordecai in Wisconsin. Mordecai's got plenty of room here, though, but he will slide. It's where you start the slide, and that was a yard shy of the first down. We talked about the Wisconsin coaches wanting Tanner Mordecai to, to slide and, and not take so many hits, but you know you might want to get the first down first, then slide, and here they are on third and short, able to pick it up. And so. Job by Braylon Allen. Picks up 11 on that third down play. Time winding down here in the third quarter. I feel like it's the opposite of the first half. We haven't seen a whole lot of this Wisconsin offense here in the second half, but they're they're really efficient, you know, getting the ball to slot receivers like Will Pauling, running the football. Getting positive plays. Mordecai was able to sidestep a tackler, and that time he picks up a first down. Took a hit there from Max Melton, but a big gain. The 
The traditional start to the fourth quarter. Jump around here in Madison as the first play of the fourth quarter is an incomplete pass intended for Hayden Rucci. It's my first time here in Madison at Camp Randall for the Badger football game. You hear people say all the time, you can feel the building move. You can feel the building move here. You certainly can feel the building move here. We can feel it all the way up in the booth. Pretty cool to see all the people in this stadium. A, a tradition in college football that you see so many times on TV. So to be here today and be a part of it was pretty cool. Mordecai able to dance away and he's got a blocker and he's across the 30 yard line. Longerbeam was able to get up and walk off nine yards on that play for Tanner Mordecai, but he didn't stay in the tent very long. Longerbeam looks like he's ready to come back into this game. Raylan Allen. Great crowd here and always been an iconic venue in college football. Mordecai, look out, got rid of it, had to, pass knocked out of the hands. Job, he's got his head turned to the quarterback so he can't see, but he plays right through the ball and breaks it up. That pass is complete, flag coming in. Backs Wisconsin up, presumably out of field goal range, so we'll see if Rutgers can hold strong here and keep him to no points. It's the first penalty enforced against Wisconsin today. That pass is complete. A field goal will be huge here for this Wisconsin offense. A few more plays in the playbook on third and eight, and third and 17. That pass is complete. He's a guy that seemed, you know, seems like we're calling his name in these big third down situations. And, you know, when they need efficient plays on first down, they're getting them the ball in the slot. But they got to hold here inside the 10 yard line, keep Wisconsin out of the end zone. Aker with a stiff arm to the five before he's knocked out of bounds. Wisconsin offense, three cracks out of here inside the five. First and goal for the Badgers. Aker there, they went low and stopped them in his tracks. And who was it? Flip Dixon, same guy this time, comes in for Wisconsin. And they're all heavy. <laughs> Mordecai, oh, we got the tight end snuck out the backside. Touchdown! The freshman, Tucker Ashcraft. Next point is good as his first career touchdown. This one will bounce out of bounds. Drive starts at the 35-yard line after the kick out of bounds. They'll hand it. Oh, he faked the handoff, and now he's under pressure. He got drilled again. The pass sails well out of bounds. James Thompson was all over Gavin Wimson. Yeah, again, James Thompson is a guy that we we keep talking about, a guy who flashes extreme athleticism, second in the Big Ten in sacks in just four games so far this year. It's a big boy, six foot five, 288 pounds. Coming after Gavin Wimsett, who had to leave the game on the last drive after taking a hit to the helmet. The drive that ended with a Rutgers touchdown and then was answered by a Wisconsin touchdown. Wimsett to pass over the middle, incomplete over the head in the hands of Jaquay Jackson. Well, for more on Gavin Wimson, let's go downfield level and Lewis Johnson. Lewis? Yeah, Brendan, uh, Wimson was in the medical tent for about four minutes with a ton of medical staff looking over him. He came out of there just as they scored their first touchdown on offense. He was happy with all smiles. Then the trainers ran him through some uh, running drills, push-ups. They had him throw, and he was giving his helmet back, and now back out on the field. And we'll see how he does. But he was cleared by the medical staff, cleared to be back out here in, in this game. All right, thank you so much. She's facing a third and ten. After two incomplete passes so far since returning. Far side, there's a completion to Johnny Langan. But no gain on the play. And Rutgers will be forced to punt. Jason Matry was right there on the tight end, Langan. Just not a, not a favorable situation there on, on third and long. Unfortunately, they had a chance to go downfield on the previous play on the second down, aren't able to c connect on that, and then you know, it leaves you in a, a third and long around midfield. You got to punt it away here. Flynn Appleby. A lot of work today. That's his eighth punt. And this one will bounce oh, almost to the 10 yard line before it's marked out of bounds. Collegiate touchdown. 
And here is Mordecai running. And he'll get out of bounds just after picking up the first down, chased out by Shaquan Loyal. On top of all that's something to remember. That's just the third passing touchdown this season for Wisconsin and for Tanner Mordecai. I mean, that's something that they need to have for this offense to work is the ability to find the end zone through the air. There's no question about it. You, you get down there in the low red zone and it's such a tighter space. There's bodies everywhere. You got to rely on the offensive line for great protection. Uh, and then you, you see an incredible scheme there by Phil Longo to get Tucker Ashcraft open on the backside. Mordecai trying to get out of the pocket and he's caught from behind and dragged down by Wesley Bailey. Loss of one on the play. Bailey led the defense last year with three and a half sacks and eight and a half tackles for loss. Mordecai into the flat for Aker. Nice cut to get up field. He's taken down about the 28 yard line by Tyreen Powell. Third down, Mordecai throws into coverage. A lot of contact there. Atticus Bertrams come out and punt for the fourth time. And a pretty good boot that's caught at the 30-yard line by Rashad Rochelle. It sure did. We, we've talked about this Rutgers defense just continuing to give this offense chance after chance. Yeah, at some point, they got to take advantage of one. And we got Gavin Wimsett back in the game here and see if he can get something going. Play action to Sam Brown. Wimsett has to throw near the sideline. And they get a foot in. It is a catch. Turns into a 31 yard gain. 16 on the play, 15 for the penalty. And now into Wisconsin territory. Wimsett had Christian Dremel open, overthrew him. He did. He had Christian Dremel there on the four vertical. He's able to get outside the numbers, and he, he just missed him. This is certainly a throw that Gavin Wimsett certainly would like to have back. We've talked about the inaccuracy struggles and working with the biomechanic coach, and that's just one that he'd love to have back. You can see it there on his face. He knew he had a chance there to Christian Dremel. Christian Dremel, as the whistle's coming here, but Dremel's a guy who was leading the team with 14 catches coming into play today. Three receiving touchdowns as well. He's been targeted a few times, but hasn't been able to come up with Here's one. Here's reset the game clock to seven minutes, 22 seconds. 7.22, thank you. So a quick reset of the clock. And they'll get it going again. Well, there is Christian Tremel, the senior from Don Bosco in New Jersey. I mean, he's had a receiving touchdown east of the last three weeks. Forget about a touchdown. I haven't been able to get the ball in his hands. Aaron Young in the backfield. Wimson. That time it's complete to Washington. And Isaiah Washington down inside the 20. Preston Zachman with the tackle, but a 20 yard pickup from Wimson to Washington. Yeah, and they bring tempo here. They're going to have to hold for a substitution because they sub allows Wisconsin to, to make the shifts that they want to make. But I like I like following up the 20 yard completion with a little tempo. Gavin Wimson with time looking end zone jump ball and it's incomplete through the hands of Ian Strong. Rutgers driving the football. Sam Brown in the backfield next to Gavin Wimsett. Second and 10 from the 20 yard line of Wisconsin. Put Rochelle in motion. They're looking his way. In the back of the end zone. Incomplete. Get this to a fourth and short. On third down, Wimsett. Complete. Found an open Ian Strong. He's upended, knocked out of bounds, just shy of the 10-yard line. Not enough for a first down. Second time today, Rutgers going for it on fourth down. They were successful on their first try. Wimsett to pass on fourth and two. Flushed out of the pocket. Wimsett incomplete. 
Rodos Johnson was chasing down Wimsett, and Rutgers turns it over on downs. Get a fresh set of downs there. So Wisconsin takes over, and Braylon Atlin starts the drive with a run out to the 14 yard line. And that was, for all intents and purposes, the last chance for Rutgers to try and make a statement they were not done in this football game yet. Instead, it was the Wisconsin defense. We've talked so much about the Rutgers defense today. I have to give some love to the defense of Wisconsin and what they've been able to do for this Rutgers offense. They have, you know, certainly the, the pick six by Ricardo Holman right before the half was huge, but making a big stop there. It seems like every time this Rutgers offense gets life, the Wisconsin defense just shuts the door. I'll blow this one dead. Timeout. It was take care of the football, and not only did they not take care of the football, but they surrendered seven points. Braylon Allen just poking and prodding and looking for a way through, but there was not a whole lot of room. Jordan Thompson will get credit for the tackle, just a three-yard gain for Braylon Starts Allen. Starts out Rutgers, their first. Some big news for Jonathan Taylor signing the contract extension yep. with the Indianapolis Colts. That pass is complete for the tight end. Hayden Rucci ball on the ground. Rutgers says they have it. Rucci was spinning, and that ball may have popped out. No signal yet. It is Rutgers football. So a short field to work with for Rutgers. A chance to punch this into the end zone quickly. That pass is incomplete, intended for Ian Strong. We've talked about the improved accuracy this season for Gavin Wimson. He's having a tough day throwing the football, though. He's just 14 for 33 through the air. Well, you said a 14 to 33. His accuracy had looked so much better through the first four games. He's thrown for 160 yards. Only touchdown passes earlier there, as that is. Complete to Ian Strong, and he's knocked out of bounds by DeClona. So it was first down at the 11. So there'll still be another first down down there near the goal line available. Yeah, Ian Strong's able to pick up the first down there. This Rutgers offense has got to start taking shots in the end zone. Fighting the clock here with just over four minutes left. Rims it. End zone. He didn't catch that. That's a touchdown. Ian Strong. That one landed in his lap. Jay Patel out for the extra point. And this time, it's good. McIntomney will do the honors for Rutgers and try and place it perfectly. Can he get the big bounce? No, right into the hand. Here by the Wisconsin hands team. You mentioned Hayden Rucci being out there. He's on the front line. Oftentimes, the front line, their job is not to get the ball. Their job is to protect the guy in the back. And Bryson Green has all the time in the world as that front line did their job perfectly, keeping those Rutgers defenders away from the onside kick that was executed pretty well. He got the high hop he was yeah. looking for. Yeah, from a kick standpoint, exactly what he was hoping for. This time, they'll hand it off to Braylon Allen. You can bet that every Scarlet Knight out there is going to be trying to rip a ball free. Just a two-yard gain for Braylon Allen. Saving that timeout. Rutgers just one timeout left. Yeah, and ball security is paramount here. You mentioned just the one timeout left for Rutgers. Clock's winding down just about over three and a half minutes, and you, know, you almost kind of the only hope is for them to rip a ball out and get a turnover here, so you know Braylon Allen will be tight with the ball security. Allen already does have a fumble today. Is stood up there at the 48 and a half yard line. Jordan Thompson, Keontae Hamilton. Charge to the right now, Rutgers, their third and final time. And there is that last time now called by Rutgers with 319 to go on the clock. 23 seconds. 3-2-3. Three, three. Thank you. 
Keep it on the ground as you might expect. And Braylon Allen right near that first down line is wrapped up by Wesley Bailey. It is a first down for Wisconsin. No timeouts left for Greg Schiano. So Wisconsin about to improve to 2 0 in the Big Ten. It's all Big Ten from here on out for both these teams. Big home game next week against Iowa. You start looking at that Big Ten West. Uh, Wisconsin, Iowa might be the look, the showdown we're looking at when it comes down to who's going to finish at the top of the standings. Braylon Allen. Braylon Allen. Keeps moving the football here. Closing in on 100 yards. Three more on that brings him to 97. So coming up potentially on his 18th career 100-yard game. We're at the top of the broadcast. We talked about the early bye week. You have it after four games, a third of the way through the season as they enter the stretch of, of Big Ten games coming up with the Big Ten West opponent in Iowa back here at home. Certainly would have to think that that would have big implications on who represents the Big Ten West in the Big Ten Championship game. Allen steps on through. He's picked up and swarmed by Rutgers. Zeon Jennings was the first one to slow him up. And that'll put him over 100 yards. Four yard gain for Braylon Allen. This Wisconsin defense. They don't give the ball back. Will have limited their opponents 17 points or fewer in all four of their wins. The only team that put up more than that was 31 from Washington State. Now a ranked team. Wasn't at the time. That's a tough thing on the road in Pullman. Yeah, and I think now you see it that Washington State team is, is a really good football team, a really good offense. And it's more than 30 seconds away from what will be their 400th Big Ten win here at Wisconsin. Well, Greg Schiano took his team on the road here to Madison, but the Wisconsin defense really didn't let that Rutgers offense get going. They came up with a huge play, the 95-yard pick six at the end of the first half that really swung the game. Some uncharacteristic mistakes by the Rutgers offense. It's one thing when you turn the football over. It's another thing when you turn the football over and it leads to points. That Rutgers defense played so well all day. 